Hey, good Friday morning, October the uh, 11th, <laughs> rise and shine. Oh, it's a beautiful morning here over here in uh, Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey, King Nummy Trail Campground. It's a bit brisk. Right now it's about 53 degrees. It feels like it's 51, and the high today is going to be about 65 degrees and sunny. Not going to be a bad day. I got some chores I got to do outside today, and hopefully I won't be interrupted with uh, whatever Sir Prince might want me to do. In the meantime, let's put down some coffee. Cheers. Ah. Uh, did you guys watch uh, the rally last night? <laughs> I'm not going to go too far into it, but uh, I'll tell you what. That man was on fire last night. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Enough said on that. Uh, my buddy, Sir Prince, let me see if I can find him here for you. All right. Yeah, there he is. He's sleeping in today, you know. He didn't even wake me up to go out for his uh, five, six o'clock, 10 to 7 potty call, you know, of course, last night, <clears throat> before I hit the rack, I woke him up, because he was already snoozing on me, let me get some of that light out of your way there, uh, before uh, I hit the rack, he was snoozing, let me turn this light off, maybe that'll help, yes, he was snoozing last night, so I, I woke him up, I said, yo, Come on, let's go potty, because I know what would happen, all right? As soon as I lay down and get comfortable in the rack, within about an hour, I would hear a rough. And I was like, really? I'm comfortable? You know, it's a beautiful thing right now, <clears throat> and you want me to get up and take you out to go potty? <clears throat> well, this old man figured out just a little bit different yesterday, last evening. I woke him up, I said, come on, I got the leash, and as soon as he's seen it, he's up like this, said, oh, okay, we're going to go for a walk. <laughs> so I took him outside, uh, and he did his thing, and of course he wanted to walk around out there, you know, nobody's around, it's pitch black, <laughs> I got my little flashlight out there so I can see where we're going and, and see that we're not going to run into some skunks. Because there are some skunks around here. So uh, he finished that. I took him back over to the, the door of the camper. And he looked up at me like, what? I don't want to go in. I said, yeah, come on, you're going in. <laughs> so he came in. Uh, I gave him some fresh water. He took a little lap of that. He looked at me, see me laying down in my bed. He laid down and that was all she wrote. Let's put down some more caffeine. Come on. Okay. As I said, it's uh, October the 11th. And it's National Coming Out Day. Um, birthday's today. It's, it's Luke Perry's birthday. God rest his soul. He was born in 1966. And uh, recently he just passed away. In 2019. Um, who else we got? Oh, Mr. Fred Trump. Donald Trump's father. God rest his soul. He was born in 1905. And he died in 1999. Uh, Mr. Fred Trump. <coughs> uh, um, he was a real estate developer. That's the best I can say. Made a lot of money, very successful. And another birthday today. And there's a lot of them out there, but uh, like uh, Cardi B or somebody. Um, I, I believe she's a singer, but I'm not sure. Uh, Daryl Hall from the famous uh, duo Hall and Oates. Daryl Hall. He is 73 years young today. I didn't think he was that old, you know. He looks pretty darn good for that age. I don't know if you ever watch on a cable. Um, I don't know if he still has it or not. I, I pick it up a lot on YouTube. Uh, um, 
something about uh, being at Daryl Hall's house, you know, and uh, Daryl's playing music and that. Um, the name of the program escapes me right now, but uh, if I remember it, I'll I'll repost it again. It's something about Daryl Hall's house, uh, and he'd have all these musical artists there and uh, a number of different episodes, and uh, they, they just jam together, and it was a pretty good show. It really was. What else we got here? Uh, uh, like I said, it's fit, about 53 degrees today, and uh, high is going to be about 65 and sunny. That's all I have today. Uh, I got to wake my boy up here wherever he's at again. Where is he? There he is. Time for me to get him up and uh, get him outside. And yes, he is breathing, okay? <laughs> all right, folks. That's about all I have for right now. I'll talk to all of you later on. God bless you. Thank God it's Friday. And uh, thank God uh, it's Friday for all of you that are still employed, gainfully employed, working. You know, uh, moving on your careers and all this. Uh, I'm living my dream right now. Yes, I am. I'm enjoying it immensely. My buddy Chris, my uh, my uh, old supervisor, Mr. Zimmerman, how you doing? How's the print shop doing? <laughs> Cheers to all you guys down at uh, Fort Indian Town Gap. I miss you guys. Maybe I'll stop down there and see you... Uh, within the next month or so, and uh, just reminisce with you guys, okay? All right, cheers one more time. Let's go. Put it down. All right, have a great day today. Uh, have a good uh, weekend. I don't know if I'm still staying down here through the weekend or not. My uh, friend, uh, my dear friend Debbie uh, from the campground here, uh, she, she stopped by yesterday, yeah. I'm sitting in, inside here cleaning up and that, and all of a sudden I hear this, Aah! and I went, what the heck? You know, there's nobody here. So uh, I walk out my front door, and, and there's Debbie in her vehicle. And uh, she was over at her camper just getting things together, you know, cleaning up, and getting ready to shut it down and that. And we talked for a few minutes, and I said, well... I don't know if I'll be down this weekend or not. And uh, she said, well, I don't think I'll be down. I think this will be it for me, Ralph. I said, really? You know, because we got three weeks left. But uh, I hate saying goodbye to all my friends, but, you know, she said uh, she probably won't be down again. Her husband will be down, uh, Jeff, uh, to do a few things at, at their camper and that. But... Uh, I said, well, all right, Deb, I guess uh, if this is goodbye until uh, good Lord willing uh, next April, give me some sugar, show me some, show me some sugar. I gave her a nice kiss and a hug, and uh, I wish her and her family well. And the good Lord willing, I'll, Deb, I'll see you uh, next April, okay? Let's stay in touch with one another. Take care of yourself. All right, that's about all I got to say, folks, you know, uh, getting a little melancholy right there, you know, but it's been great down here at King Nummy. I've been here, uh, it's either nine or ten seasons, so that's ten years, you know. Made a lot of friends, made a lot of great memories, um, you know. Uh, you, you always meet people that you're supposed to meet in your, in your travels and your uh, journey through life, you know. There's always a reason you meet them, and I, I met some great people down here. My neighbor Nancy next door, Bill, God rest his soul. My buddy Tommy across from me, God rest his soul. Uh, Fran, you know, then I got Karen, I got Stevie. <laughs> I mean, a, a whole bunch of people. I, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting everybody's name. Uh, Rich, you know. Okay, that's about it. Uh, Lucille, I'll talk to you later on. God bless you. DJ Dave Dreyer, are you working tonight? Are you DJing at the Tap House? Let me know. I'll knock them dead. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later on. Cheryl, good morning. Tina, good morning to you. And I, I, I seen your son. Uh, he's playing soccer. That's what RJ was doing, you know. 
Your boy's looking good, I'll tell you what. Okay. God bless you. RJ, Chrissy, good morning. Mary Elizabeth, good morning. Raymond, Roy, and Mary, good morning. Carol, good morning. You know, good morning to all of you guys. Cheers. Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll see. Have a great day today. Keep on smiling. If you like my video, hit like on there if you would, please, and share it with your friends. And thanks for having coffee with me. God bless you. Keep on smiling. Barbie, Ken, good morning. Here we go. One, two, big smile. Come on.